Hello. Alrighty. You've seen me before plenty times create strip paper uh, backgrounds out of my junk mail. So I prepped these four prior to coming on, but I did pull out my, I've got this little box of, um, oh gosh, I've had these for years. Somebody gave me these. These are actually nail tapes. And then the bigger ones are, these were, I think these came from my brother. Um, I could be wrong, but, but anyways, um, these are drafting tapes. So that's what I'm going to use tonight is I'm going to use one of the drafting tapes because they're getting really old. And I believe these black ones are like stuck to each other. I'm hoping they still work, but we'll see. If not, then I'll have to pull out something else. I haven't opened these in a while, so we'll see how the sticky's on the top or the bottom or what. It is still sticky. Oh, my heavens. I mean, we're talking years. We're talking like at least 20 years, if not 25, 30. <laughs> That's amazing. That still works. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just go and follow the lines on here because I want to accent the lines and make this pop. Give it a little bit of a different look. That looks pretty nifty. And I need to remember to come out in the middle of my table here, just in case my, my photo, my camera arm starts slanting down again. Oh, I am thrilled that this is still all sticky and working just fine. And those black lines are really making those colors pop. That is awesome. That is really cool. Some of the glue has landed on the top of it, but that's okay. That's what my powder foot is for. And you'll see what a powder foot is in just a few moments. This is awesome. Oops, I forgot I have this one here. Nice. What a difference that's making. Where's the other one that looked like this? So this one here, okay. This was the other part of it right there. But what a difference it's making just to have that black showing on it. That really looks nice. What a difference. Wow. It's funny, I've done this in so many different colors before, but I always love the black, brown, or navy blue. Or if I've got all real dark colors to do white, that looks pretty sharp too, and then put it on a white card. Yep, rather yummy looking if I do say so myself. Yep, right there, one more. It was so funny last night I was having this dream about my twin brothers and my sister when they were all really, really little. And we lived in this house, in my dream, it was a dream house, um, that had right at the top of the steps and it had an open, open shower with three shower heads. And so we had gone to the beach in my dream and, and uh, we got home and I said, okay, I said, you guys are all sandy, so get your clothes off and run up those stairs and let's get showered. And so I helped them get all naked and I was chasing them up the stairs trying to get their buns and they're and they're screaming <laughs> no 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 because I used to love to pat their butts it was so cute and I was doing that in the dream and I woke up giggling at, at one point because that was just so funny 
there. Alrighty. What a silly fun thing to remember. Yep, there. And that's my powder foot because it's actually a baby sock. <laughs> that looks nice. I do like that. Nice, 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 nice. Alrighty. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. Yep. wonder if it'll break with my finger now. Ooh, it does. I didn't know that. But it shifted over a little. It didn't really like doing that. All right. I apologize, tape. <laughs> powder smells so yummy and clean it's funny the different smells that we we tend to like I love the smell of powder and I love the smell of um, I love the smell of skunk and gas I know that's really weird but I don't mind those smells and I love the smell of Oh, when my husband comes out of the shower and he puts his deodorant on and then he walks past me, he just smells so yummy because I, I don't know. It's just that deodorant it just smells so good. That's pretty. And I love the smell of Noxzema. My mom used to use Noxzema and Taboo because both of my grandmothers used to use taboo. And it just smells yummy. And metal. I like to smell metal because that reminds me of my grandpa because he used to go to the dump and he would get all of the washers and dryers and he would bring them home and take them apart and the tubs he would pull out and grandma would make them into ottomans and sell them. She would make padded ottomans and grandpa would pull all the, the um, batteries, or not batteries, I'm sorry, magnets rather all the magnets out of them. And he would get all the wiring and take the wiring out, the copper wires and stuff, and he'd go back and he'd sell the copper wiring, but it took a while to pull it all apart, but he would do it. That was pretty neat. I like the way these look. Yep. And to be able to go for a ride in, in Grandpap's big red Tonka truck. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was always so much fun. Oh my goodness, and I remember one time, this was hysterical. I could not believe he did this. We're driving down the road, and he had his voice box removed in his early 20s, I guess, um, or later 20s, I guess. But anyways, he, uh, he burp talked because he had a hole in his throat, so he burp talked. And, uh, and we used to we used to laugh when he'd get really mad because he he sounded like Donald Duck. And you know, when he started yelling at his kids for doing something, getting in trouble, get just being mischievous, then uh and then he would get carried away yelling at us and we'd be all dying, dying, just cracking up because he sounded so funny and we'd be <laughs> just in stitches. <laughs> so but anyways, this one day he said he said, Barbie. He said, you want to go to the dump with me? It's your turn. And I said, I would love to. So I was proud as can be. And so he said, okay. And he said, get your sneakers on. Don't wear your sandals. So I said, okay. And so I went to the dump with him. It was so fun. Oh my goodness. We were crawling through. He said, go ahead, go explore. He said, just don't climb on top of anything because you might fall and get hurt. And so I said, okay. And so, and he said, make sure you stay where you can see me. So I said, okay. So I did. And I found, it was so fun, I found some old, um, gosh, I wish I could have those now. That would be really cool. Some old time cards, a whole box of them. Oh, my goodness, I was so excited. 
and uh, they were all used to old used time cards. And so I guess some business didn't need them anymore, so they threw them all out. And I was so excited, so I, I, I asked him. I said, "Can I keep them?" And he said, "Yes." any kind of paper because there was plenty of room on there that that I could draw on them so and all of us kids drew and there were six of us so he said oh yes and so he picked that box up and carried over and put it in the pile of stuff to take home and and uh, I found some big rolls of paper that were in there and so he said see good stuff huh good stuff so he grabbed that for me and we took that home and and he found a, a few washers and dryers. And so he loaded those up all by himself. Just picked them up and put them in the back of his truck. And and uh, and I was just impressed because he was so strong. Well, then on the way home, I could not believe he did this. We were driving down <laughs> the road and there was a guy hitchhiking. And he's got his thumb out. And Grandpap said, oh, look, look, there's there's a hitchhiker. Let's pick him up. And I said, okay. And so we went over and he honked at the hitchhiker and we went over and pulled over. And just as the guy was getting ready to, to reach his hand out, then grandpa peels out and he, and he leaves him. And I was like, what are you doing? And grandpa started laughing and he's doing this. <laughs> oh my goodness. He sounded so funny. And he just thought that was so funny, but, and he did it to, to make me laugh. And so just to, because it was silly and I, and I, and I was like, I said, I can't believe you did that. And I said, that was so mean. <laughs> and he's just laughing and laughing and laughing. Oh, he loved to get a rise out of anybody. Oh my goodness. He loved to mess with people and especially us kids and especially me and my sister because he just loved us so much and, and our red hair. Oh my goodness. He just loved our red hair. So... So he'd pat our hair all the time. It was so cute. And he was always and forever trying to get us to laugh at stuff. Yep, he was a fun grandpa. I sure miss him. All righty, so check these out. All right, so I already did those. I didn't do this one or, nor this one. Okay, let's step on that one and step on this one. And there you go. Boy, from listening, watching and listening to my videos, you learn a lot about my past, don't you? <laughs> and I don't know why, when I just start relaxing and, and just chattering away, then these old memories come back to me. That's interesting. All righty, so how much time have I used? 12 minutes. So let's make at least one, one card or something out of these. All right, so this one's different. Shall we use that one or shall we use one of these? Let's use one of these. Why not? will be different. Okay, so we need a card. And let's see. Did I use them all? Nope, I have one white, one left, which is good. All right, and I already cut them down to size. So what do I want to do? And I know what I want to do. Let's make a an easel card. That's a good idea. So to make an easel card, we're going to take this card front here. And we have to make a decision. Do we want the easel to, whoops, let me get the other paper. Do we want the easel to fold up this way or fold up this way? So, and I think I wanna do it this way. All right, so that means from this corner down to this corner. So I need to line this up on this corner here and this corner here. So I'm using my black line here to line this up. All righty. So that's perfect. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and just follow the score all the way down my paper. And then put that back away and put this back away. And now that will fold down. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to use this. Oh, and that's right, I've got this on there. So I'm going to have to back this with something. So let's back it and let's see, I've got, that looks pretty good. I'm thinking maybe just black paper, that would work. Alrighty, and I have black paper. My kitty's downstairs meowing at something. My husband's down there. 
Alrighty, and I've got, oh, I've got this paper. This would look better, I think. Because this was just construction paper. This is a nice paper pad. All right, so let me pull this off. This is a, a gel a gel pen notebook. The gel pen colors look, look really pretty on here. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this down on here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to tape it. Why not? That way it doesn't ripple. There and there and here and there. All right, perfect. We can put that away. We can burnish those down. Perfect. We can take our little pokey tool and when I do this, I like to do this and then just fold it, fold it down and then do the next one and fold it down and do the next one and fold it down and do the next one and fold it down there because now I can go ahead. Oh, I don't need to center it on there, <laughs> but that's okay. I can line it up on here. All right, but that allows me to move it around. So isn't that cool? Have you ever seen that? So now I can line it up on two of these edges. And once I get it lined up exactly where I want it, that looks pretty good to me. Then I can press all four corners down and it's adhered now, but now I can just slowly pull this out and that's gluing it right down, or taping it right down. Isn't that nifty? There we go. Ta-da! How cool is that? And then we can just trim these, the excess paper off. That looks so cool, backed in the black because of the black lines on there. The black lines that I put on, that's awesome. All righty, perfect. One more. Perfect. Sometimes I impress myself. <laughs> Alrighty, that is really pretty. So now the back is covered. So now what I'm going to do is um, I need to glue it because remember I scored it from here to here. So I'm going to glue it just in this portion. So I want to glue it and I'm just going to use my tape again because that's much easier to do. So I'm going to go from here. And go ahead and go across and then from here and go across until I get to here and then from here until I get to here there alrighty and then I could just put a little bit of glue on this corner Alrighty, and then I can take this and I can remove, whoops, probably have my burnished it, huh? Yep, and then we can remove these. So we're making an easel card. That's fun to make. Have you ever made one of these? Alrighty, so now I've got to look at this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put it, I'm not gonna put it right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this corner. Alrighty, so I'm gonna line it up down on the bottom and over here and then put it there, there. Okay, so now that looks cool. So now we've got a white border here and there. Okay, 
So now what we can do is we can take this and open it up and we can take and we can fold it right on that fold line by putting my hand under here and folding this down. Okay, so there we go. We now have an easel card. Isn't that cool? I like that. That's a pretty nifty card. Ta-da! I just think it, it makes such a cool looking card. All right, so now we need to make something to go right here to hold it. So we need to 3D something there. And we need to decorate the front of the card. All right, so on the inside of the card right here, I have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Because I think that'll be really cool to put that down. And that'll definitely match because it came right from that. That's what I trimmed off of it. There we go. That is perfect. Let that dry. Okay, especially on this side. I need to be careful when I trim that. Yeah, I better let that dry some more. There. Okay, now that's still wiggle jiggling. All right, that's not going to stay down, is it? Unless I really... It is glued. There's... All right, I'm just going to have to take it off, and then I'll just do it separate. That'll be easier. All righty, I will do it that way. Let's put a little glue down. Get over there. There, and I'll just cut a sliver and put it there. And that's probably too wide, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it until it dries, and then I'll trim it. There, that's better. All righty, very good. So now we need to figure out what we're going to do on the front of this. And I'm thinking, you know what, I wonder if I've got some, um, 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 I wonder if I've got flowers that would match that. Or, let me look in my box. I'm sure I've got something in my box somewhere. Oh, yes. My lovely box of embellishments. All the embellishments that I like to make. Let me see. Thing pop out to me. Oh, come on, I want something brown. Oh, those are brown and purple. I wonder if those would show. I don't know. That's not as pretty as a big old flower. A flower would be gorgeous. Nope. I don't think I like this idea. I want to find a big old flower or something. Ooh, here's some flowers. I could do those. I could arrange them. That would be pretty. Let's play with that. Yep, let's do that. Alrighty. That'll be real pretty on here. Alright, and I could actually put one of these on the inside too. Because I could put it right here. That would be pretty. Ha <laughs> ha. I like that idea. All right, oh, I think I can trim this now. Yes, woo, yay me. Check it out, waka waka. Gotta love it. All right, let me open these up. And, oh, I didn't even have to open that. Uh -huh -huh. This was already open on the side because it was a bag that I just cut in half because it was so big. I see this one. That's not going to match, though. This one would. Take that off. That would be really pretty on the inside. Ooh. That's pretty. Yes, it is. I like that. All righty. We'll save that one for the inside. The red. Let's see. I know I'm going to pull a couple off, so I may as well go ahead and take this red one off of the back. And then I can put it on the front after I 
peel some of these other ones off. All right, so I want to see this blue, this blue and this pink, this one will match. That would definitely match. All right, so I need browns and that light purpley pink. Yep, like this one, that'll be pretty. Gorgeous. Dark purple, why not? Dark purple. Oh, I love making these, they're so fun. Oh, and here's a brown one. And here's another brown one. All right, I think we should have more than enough now. <laughs> All right, let's arrange these on here. How are we going to do this? I want to make a, a bundle of them. Maybe a bundle of five. Five, yeah. Did I get the light purple one? That's okay. Because if I do these, oh, that's so pretty. I usually do three and then two. I could do another set of three over here. That's pretty. Hmm. And then I could put a word on. Three and three and then one on the inside. Well, you know what? Let's just do this. Do I have any green leaves in here? I wonder if the green leaves would take it away. I actually should do brown leaves. That would be cool. Oops, not this one. I'm grabbing the wrong way. I need my flower bin. Green leaves, I do. But I think that's going to be way too... Yeah, I think I'm going to need some brown leaves. All right, I can do brown leaves. I've got brown. I think that'll be pretty. There's some brown. Yep, let me get a punch. when my, I almost said grandmother, <laughs> my mother-in-law said this to me. Alrighty, we'll see how many leaves we get out of it. Alright, that'll work. Such nice brown paper. I forget who sent it to me, but thank you. It sure is beautiful. It's linen paper. Yep, that's one of my favorite papers. Just because it's such a hearty, pretty background. All right, so that's good. them back under my bed. All right, let's do this. This is going to be really cool. So I want three down here. So let's go ahead and put that is so cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Yes, I am. Or do it this way. Yeah, because it's going to lay down this way. Okay, so do it that way. All right. 
Friday. And I don't know if we'll... That's pretty. I like that. All right. I'm thinking I don't know if we'll need a second one. I think maybe we might want a second one on here just to make it real leafy. Yes. Yep, especially on this end. But which way? Let's see. Because if it opens like that, do I want it there? Or maybe that way? Uh-huh. Because then we could put the flowers on. And that'll be sticking up there. Or do I want it over here? No, because then you can't see it at all. All right, so it's got to go kind of like right here. All right, so if I do it that way, that'll work. All right, let's get the glue on there. And we'll lay this one down. Like so, and this little stinker's hanging off, so I gotta trim that. Ta da! All right, nice. So let's go ahead and arrange these flowers on there. So I need three one, two, three. Make them look like they're hanging on the vines. Why not? <laughs> That's cute. And then I could put little ones in there. That would be adorable. Oops. That's pretty. Oh, yes. That is really, really pretty. I do like that. Uh-huh. Ooh. I just thought, wouldn't that be cool to have a pot, <laughs> a flower pot down here? That would be fun, huh? We'll see. All right, so now I want to put a couple of these up in the corner. So I want just two. And then maybe one small one. Maybe I'll do that. All right. But I think I want one of these in here, up in this corner too. So let me put glue on here. Oh, these people that play their bass music in their car so loud, I can hear it. It actually shakes my house when they drive by. And I just think of their poor ears. Oh my goodness. All right, so we want. That one. And that one. All righty, that'll be pretty. Okay, so then I need the little white ones little bitty white flowers. That's not the right container. Those are glue dots. Nope, I put them in with the other flowers. Yes, I did. I remember that. It's right here. Ta-da! Alright, and then black middles. So I need that. Alrighty. Tiny white flowers. Yep, yep, yep. And I will need this. I don't need my tweezers anymore, and I don't need my tape anymore. All right, so let's see where are we can put these little white flowers. Actually, I could use these. That would be pretty. Or I could do these little dinky tiny ones. That would be so adorable. them out here. Oops, there's butterfly in there. That'll be pretty.
That really brightens it right up, doesn't it? I like that. Oops, that's a double. There's two there. So I need three up there. Yeah, that'll be pretty. Nope, I do like it like that. Okay. All right, I do like that. And then we'll put probably the little black dots in the middle there. So let's go ahead and glue these down. Because they look real stark right now, but it, they'll calm down in just a minute as soon as I put the black circle in them. Looks really cute. Alrighty. Now let's pull out the little black dots. Ooh, those are the shiny ones too. So let's see how these are going to fit on here. There's like a stack of them together, so I have to like squeeze them and pull them apart. Okay, I think that's a single. That's a double. Now it's a double. <laughs> no, that's probably triples. There's one. Nope, I can't separate that one again. That's okay. I've got this one. All right. So let's lay these on and see. Oh, yes. That is perfect. All right. Yep, we're gonna. Oop. <laughs> One went down on the floor. All righty. Then we'll go ahead. That looks perfect. I like that. More than one, that's one, that's one. Is that just one? Yes, it is. Good. I think so. Perfect. All right, we've got these two left, so I can deal with those later. That looks really pretty. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Do you like it? Pretty cool looking, huh? Oh, and I apologize. I was putting that way over here. You probably didn't get to see me doing that. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I'm sorry. All right. I'm trying to remember to keep it out here. That is really, really pretty. Okay, so let's take this one and we'll glue it on the inside. I'm wondering if I want to want this on the inside too. I could put this like right here so it looks like it's coming down off of that and then put this here. I'll do it like right there so that way this flower will hold it that would be cool and then it just comes right down I think I'm gonna do that let's do that let's go ahead and you know what I can do nope I'm not even gonna cut that off I'm just gonna leave it on there let's go ahead and put some glue on these petals and we'll glue this on the inside I think that's gonna be pretty all right my tweezers I'm gonna need again And we want this about right here. Okay. Perfect. Let that dry. While that's drying, we can get this ready. And we can put this right here. So if it's there, we want this one turned right there. Nope, move it down. Okay, there. That's pretty.
That is a pretty card. Oh my goodness. And then we can add a couple little white ones in here, just like we did the other one. There, so we can do them right there. And then we'll do the black circles in the middle after I just pick them all up, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, let's find two more black medals. All righty, right there. Is that a double? Yep. It was. All righty. That is really pretty. I do like this card. What do you think of that? Isn't that nice? And a nice way to use our embellishments that we made before. I think that's so pretty. Very nice. I like that punched out flowers. Ta-da! And I go back in the flower box. I love this. That is really pretty. There. Now. That is gorgeous. I'm very pleased with how that looks. All right, so we just got to let that dry. So what do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, you were able to see. All right, good. Hopefully, I'll have to watch the video back and see. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then you just fold it up and tuck it in. Ta-da! I love that. All righty. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. So it's very easy, as you saw. You just make the strip card front. So, and then, remember, you just... Score it from this corner to this corner. And then you just fold it. And then when you glue this on, you're only gluing the bottom portion, just where that, that triangle is. So you can handle that. I know you can. I believe in you. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.